Thank you, Fab9 Tuning. Because I was tempted by today's used car market values to consider selling one of our two project cars, the 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF. And the reason why I thank Fab9 Tuning, I changed my mind after I put the Fab9 Versatune on our project car. I forgot how smooth that tune makes this car. So for those of you new to the channel, I had put the Fab9 tune on the car. I did some testing. I gave my opinion. We put it on the dyno to show the results. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. But I then removed the tune because I relocated from the East Coast, Boston, Massachusetts, to Denver, Colorado. And here in Denver, we only have access to 91 octane being the highest octane level. I removed the tune, I dynoed the car to get a new baseline here at altitude, and I've just recently, in the past couple of weeks, added back on the tune. Now the tune isn't the exact same. So it's the 91 octane Fab 9 tune as opposed to the 93 octane Fab 9 tune that I had on the car previously. So it's slightly different. But as soon as I added it on the car, immediately, as soon as I uploaded it, took it out for a drive, oh my gosh, if you don't have this tune, it is well worth it. It makes the car so much smoother to drive. The first, the second, the third, gear, third gears, all the gears shifting in between the gear, gears are much smoother. Uh, it revs a lot quicker. It feels a lot cleaner. The power delivery is so nice. It does make it much, much more enjoyable to drive. And because of that, I have, at least for now, decided to keep the Mazda Miata. Now, the next stage after adding the tune is, yes, what else? We're gonna go to the dyno today. We are going to see how much horsepower the Fab 9 Versatune adds to an otherwise stock car, so purely stock. Um, and remember, it's 91 octane tune. So I'm not expecting a lot of additional peak horsepower. Uh, I would expect that the curve is smoother because that's what I'm feeling as I drive it. And I wouldn't be surprised if the torque and the horsepower shows a little bit more um, uplift across the power band, across the power band. So not just at the peak. And then of course, after we're done dynoing and we see the results, um, we're gonna take it out again and we're gonna test the zero to 60 and see if the VersaTune actually helps us to improve our acceleration numbers. So if you're interested in knowing how much horsepower, how much torque the 91 octane Fab 9 VersaTune adds to an otherwise stock, ND2 Mazda Miata, then stay tuned.
I, I really am disappointed. I was expecting something, not a lot, but something. And to come away from the dyno pull sessions with nothing, it actually produced less horsepower and less torque than the last time we were at the dyno. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I, I'm telling you that my butt dyno tells me that it's running a lot smoother, that there's more there. I'm running the same gas, same gas station, so the same brand, 91 octane. Per the recommendation, uh, I drove the car over probably 125 miles before dynoing it. So I let the ECU get used to the new tune first. Um, I'm really not sure what it is. Now remember, we did this on 93 octane and we did gain a little bit uh, wheel horsepower. But as far as our car today on the same dyno, using the Fab 9 VersaTune for 91 octane, we did not gain any horsepower and torque. So that's it for today. If you after my disappointment subsided, and after thinking about the results or lack thereof on the dyno, I reached out to Brian at Fab9 via email. Brian did offer to take a look at some of the data logs to see if we could figure it out from the data and if needed, adjust the tune accordingly. I did not run any data logging when we did the dyno. That means I will need to follow up and do some street pulls and various gears under various load conditions. I'll send that to Brian. We'll see if we can figure out what went wrong, if we need to make adjustments to the tune. I will be following up. So this isn't a one and done. I want to figure out what went wrong. I want to get the most out of this tune and Brian's willing to help with this, which I greatly appreciate. Definitely stay tuned for a future video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hey, I, I know the results weren't what we were expecting, but if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed watching the video, if you, you know, want to see more videos, please consider giving, giving the video a thumbs up. And thank you for joining, and until next time.